Baseball from the Lone Star State. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here and on the hill in this one, Justin Verlander. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. And now it's going to be Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. The wind of the pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. A. Eugenio Suarez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Here comes the 0-1. And yeah. that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Verlander moved to first. Rodriguez back in standing. The next offering misses. And one that ball. is ball Two one. Hey now, turn two here. And a ball two. evens the count. It's a good take. That misses the Ball's zone, two. and it's three and two. Rudder at first with no outs here. And ball four to a board. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. Now at the plate, Ty France. This to third. Bregman fires to second for one. How about that double play? That was a tough double play to turn right there. So nicely done by the defense. And with it hit so softly, I wasn't sure they'd have time to get both outs. And sometimes rushing a play like that can lead to big problems. But they executed every step perfectly. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That's in there. Strike one. And the pitch. And there's the strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And he held up. The 1-2. And yeah, the 1-2 misses to even the count. Still two and two after the foul ball. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away.
That's a base hit as a run scores. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the catcher up to hit, Cal Raleigh. And first offering is fouled off. Verlander moved to first. Oh, Hernandez there. back on a dive. Go, Strike two. Oh, the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. On the hill for the Mariners, Luis Castillo. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today. But when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, yeah maybe throw. you're not a real high no strikeout guy, but just okay. knowing you have the swing and miss stuff oh, in a man. big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. And the pitch. Jose Altuve, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. And that misses right off the outside edge. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next Ooh, one misses. And a count is three and one. He swings and fouls one off. 3-2. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now it's Alex Bregman. Altuve runs. And that one fouled off. Now one and one. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU, he was the second overall pick in 2015. He wears that number on his back, number two, and Singy. He was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. The one one is cut on and one missed at a pitch upstairs. That one, one missed. Well, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall, but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years, not being the number one pick overall. And he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best, and it's translated on both sides of the ball. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Strike in there. Bro, and they got him. I think on that one right there, they were just trying to stay out of the double play. Guy at the dish isn't very fast, so anything on the ground in the infield is most likely going to be a double play. So you can't fault the team for trying to force the issue. Make sure that they create an opportunity here to score a run in this inning. Here's Kyle Tucker. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
And that's in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Bows it back with two strikes. The why to kick the pitch. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Second inning set to go. And now here is Cade Marlowe. The right hander back to work. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. And that's a little bit high. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls nope, as possible. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Here's a 2-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Here's the rookie right fielder, Dominic Canzone. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one is upstairs. One down, base is empty. Just missed. I got three and oh. There's a strike. Righty delivers. A little out front there as he swings through it. And that's ball four. One gone runner at first. Next up, it's the first year shortstop, Jose Caballero. On the ground, and it finds its way through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Waste no time there. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Here's Josh Rojas. In there and it's 0 1. Shut him down, kid. Slider clips the zone. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him. And there's two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Singled and scored his first time. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about, you know, filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them to put all the accomplishments that he's had in his career. He's got it. And that is out number three. 
Mariners leave a couple. They lead it one nothing. Back here in Houston, bottom of the second. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Jordan Alvarez. Chris Alvarez has turned into one of the best young hitters, maybe one of the best hitters in all of baseball. He's got some of the most raw power in the entire game. Ball one low. Yeah, and won that Silver Slugger Award in 2022 in a slugging percentage of 613 and OPS over 1,000. Now one and one. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Payoff pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Suarez moving under it. And it's caught for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath no it a little bit and popped it up. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. On the ground right side. On the run. Sends it over to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Batting six. The first baseman. Number and next to hit for Houston, number 28. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Strike two. Three. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. One, two, three, go the Astros. And it remains one nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. A Eugenio Suarez. The wind and the pitch. Check swing went around. It's 0 1. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next offering is down low. One and two to count. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And now the count is even. Upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So up next, Ty France. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, three. And they turn the double play. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That's a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Hernandez batting in the cleanup spot. And he's won a silver slugger in the American League. You do it, Astros. 
The 0 1. Just ball. missed. That nope. just misses. Two and one. And that's oh, outside. That. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 1 count. And he deals. Yeah. On the inside corner for a strike. On the ground to third. Bregman to first. Oh. And that is that. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the Jeremy shortstop Astro. at the play. Jeremy North Pena. Jeremy. Chris, here's a weird yeah. note, at least to me. Jeremy Pena is the first rookie shortstop to homer in the World Series. He did it in 2022. It had never been done before when he homered against the Phillies. They say it went. Yeah, he's very grounded in his approach to plate. He's on the plate, not worried about getting beat on the inside part, which a lot of guys are. He's not worried about it. He can cover the outside to end, and that's why we see him get the barrel to so many baseballs. a swing and a miss and one gone no messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there four pitches all fastballs yeah and that makes me think that was the plan before the at bat even started if you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it here's Mauricio Dubon good defender he's been inconsistent offensively in there for strike one and Acuna's two younger brothers, Brian and Luis Angel, are in professional baseball right now playing in the minor leagues. Dubon started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, did not go. The 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Maldonado, 36 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Next pitch is outside. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So the batting order turns over. And now Jose Altuve let off the bottom of the first with a walk. MVP! 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 And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Righty to the plate. That's towards center. Rodriguez settles under it and puts the squeeze on that. And that will end the inning. One left for Houston. They still trail 1 0. Back here in Houston. And the batter now, Cal Raleigh. The catcher. 
He no. is at the top Whoa. of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Verlander back to work. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Two balls, one strike. And here it comes. And as well, lots of pop in that bet. So you combine the slug with really good defense. Now all leave it up. Chop to the right side. Slings the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Up next is Seattle. The left field. Cade Marlowe. And now for Seattle, Cade Marlowe. He's 0 for 1. That one outside, and it's one and oh. And another ball. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand. But what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets. And it had to be with the wheels going down the line. Next to hit, Dominic Canzone. Ball one, no strike. Left hand batter waits. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Ground ball up the middle. Pena on the run. Throw to first. And the Mariners set down one, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Alex Bregman. Bregman. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Come on, take it deep. Next pitch Whoa, misses outside. And now 2-0. Oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. Right, That's inside. Three balls, no strikes. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And a 3 0 finds the zone. And that's in for a strike. Hard ground ball, base knock. Show a lot of fight with two strikes in that AB. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Caught looking his first time up. And takes low for ball one. And 
And the right hander deals. Pitch misses there. Two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Caballero grabs it on the run. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter, Jordan. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He popped out his first time. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that's in there for strike one. On one. Dribbled up the third baseline. Sends it across oh. to first. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's a big power threat. Chaz McCormick. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one close, ruled a ball. And a count even one and one. The one one is fouled off. One two now. And that one is inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two two now. Swings and he breaks his bat. Inning over. So the Astros leave one. They trail here, one nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning and stepping in for the Mariners, Jose Caballero. Here comes a pitch. That ball one inside. Off, right? And that's ball one. Gets under and pops it up. Pena moving under this one. Makes the grab. And there's one down. The batter number four. Second Here's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. Rojas. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Julio Rodriguez. Singled back to the first and scored their only run. He's one for two. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Come on, 
Verlander moved to first. No, Rojas dives back in safely. And that one almost got him. The two on run around the goal. Fouls one off. Two and two. Throw over to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Clips the outside corner. Going to one. All one's the count. The pitch and a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Sends it to first, and that is that. One left for Seattle, but they lead it one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, number 28. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Good eye right there. And a 1-1. That's the third. Fair ball! And now it gets into the corner. Marlow to second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Swings through that All one. 0 and 1. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Got him. One away. So digging in, Mauricio Dubon. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Pitch a little bit low, ball one. One out and a runner at second. And a big swing and a miss. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. That misses the zone, two and one. Pitch. And that one missing low. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Mm -hmm. 
Fouls one away and now three and two. At the belt and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Maldonado in the box now. Take strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Righty delivers. That clips the corner. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Looking for the K. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Jose Altuve up to it here. And for a strike. And it's 0 1. Two on, two outs. That's off the mark, and the count is one and one. On the corner for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. In the dirt. And now a single might score two. That pitch was pretty far outside, further than he was set up, so kind of a tough one to handle, but still something he knows he should have had since it bounced off his glove and got away. Second and third, two down. Outside. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. That's the third. On to France. That ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. They're down one nothing. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. Ty France. And the right hander back to work. That one misses. One and oh. And there's a the ball. Two and oh. The pitch. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. And a 2 1 on the way. That one pushed foul. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Now a check swing, but he held up. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. 3-2 now. Liner to second. It picked on the hop. Over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now that designated hitter. So now here's the DH. Teoscar Hernandez. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. In there and it's 0-1. The 
There's a strike. That one, one ran ball. inside, Two almost strikes. got him. Next offering misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, that's too high. The wind of the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Line drive. Caught. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And strike one to the catcher. Really good oh, athlete. Boy. And many times you talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. That's hard hit on the line. Tucker makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So they go quietly there. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mariners one and the Astros nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Alex Bregman. The third baseman. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he handles it himself for the out. Number 30, Kyle so next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tucker, 26 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. In the air, right field, can zone under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Let's go, Astros! First pitch, not close. Just missed. Next pitch way upstairs. Chaz McCormick would be next. Big bat with a potentially huge opportunity. Two outs. There's a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat.
He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Now it's the power speed combo. Chaz McCormick. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. And a pitch. There's the strike. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Trent Thornton preparing to come on if needed. Campbell getting cranked up as well. Fastball in for a strike, and it's one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Houston, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Cade Marlowe. And a pitch. Ball nope. one there. Well, these Mariners showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Feels like almost every bat has gone full. They've worked a full count six different times, and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. Well, a great effort, but he can't get the out. And now the go-ahead run is on base. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. Verlander done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. The Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, Parker Mashinsky. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Now it's the right fielder, Dominic Canzone. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Oh, two now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And now the lefty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Got him swinging on the curveball. One out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Jose Caballero, the next to hit. That's in there. That's strike one. Strike on the inside corner. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. 
And here it comes. Fights it off. You'll see another. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kick swing. Now a look down to first. No, he held up. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Next pitch, not close, up high. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Rojas. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Aye. And a strike on the outside edge. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Back to the top of the Seattle order, and here is Julio Rodriguez. In there for strike one. Curveball drops in there for a strike. First and second, two down. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No movement on the bases. One and two the count. The one two. And now two and two. Two ball, two strikes. And now the count filled up three and two. A. Eugenio Suarez up next. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Hector Neris will take over here. Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. A. Eugenio Suarez up next for the Mariners. takes a strike tough situation right here so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there strike to the outside corner and it's on two base is loaded two down
popped up. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So a strong showing there from the Houston bullpen. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. All tied 1-1. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Trent Thornton. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So digging in, number 28. For the Astros, the first baseman, number 28. And a pitch. Off the nope. mark there. Ball one. Well, these Astros looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And now it's even up. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. And now one and two. And the righty deals. Got him looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. On the ground to third. The throw to first, and a couple of quick outs. The batter number 14, second baseman, Mauricio. And stepping in for the Astros, Dubon. Mauricio Dubon. Good contact guy, good defender. And ball one. Right-handed reliever. That's a slider for a strike. Let's get the win, Astro. And that's downstairs and outside. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Two and two. Right-hander deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Still 2-2 two two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing there for Houston. Score remains tied 1-1. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We go to the eighth. And now for Seattle, Ty France. The pitch misses off the plate, and it's one and zero. Oh. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Brian Abreu up and loosening in the pen. Yes, 
Pitch misses. 2 and 0. Oh. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Teoscar Hernandez up next for the Mariners. That misses. And that's ball one. Just missed. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is foul back. Misses the zone. Three and two now. Cal Raleigh on deck for the ends. Three, two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And now Cal Raleigh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. That's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. That misses, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. At the belt and fires. Close, but called a ball. And the count is three and one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Check swing, but he went too far. Three and two now. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty good pitch on 3-2 right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. Two outs, runner at first. Kate Marlowe digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. Next offering is down low. One and one. The one-one is fouled off. And a ball 
ball and two strikes. Got him! That's out number three. Mariners leave one. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Gainer Diaz. He represents the go-ahead run. Thornton back to work. Yeah, there's the strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So the Houston lineup turns over. Here's a former MVP, Jose Altuve. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And delivers oh, outside. Next offering is in for a strike. And now one and two. One and two now, Altuve waits. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Now it's Alex Bregman. One hit to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Staying in the game on defense, Yainer Diaz. He now takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Ryan Stanek gets the call from the pen. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with free passes this year. And stepping in for the Mariners, Dominic Canzone. The right fielder, Dominic Canzone. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Come on, Houston. Lifted in the air, out to left. McCormick has it sized up. Makes the catch. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Caballero up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. And it's one and one. In there at the knees for a strike.
and he deals. And the one two misses to even the count. Here's the two two. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And up next for Seattle, Josh Rojas. All one low. That one missed. No if you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Top of the zone for a called strike. Here's a 2-1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The 2 2. And that one in the air center field. Altuve gets under it. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. Offense held in check there. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Isaiah Campbell. He's been leader. so good against lefties. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 49. Isaiah Campbell. And now the right fielder, Lead Kyle up. Tucker. The, Astros, the right fielder. <laughs> Pitch up the middle on to France. A huge out to start the bottom of the night. Designated hitter, Jordan. Jordan Alvarez now at the plate. Infield shifted to the pull side. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And that's in there for strike one. Well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Pitch is in there. And that is strike two. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. Andres Munoz appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Brash warming up as well. Here's the 0-2. In the air, right field. Ken zone under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Out. Number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And there's a foul ball. The old one. And strike two. Swings and misses. And the Astros put down in order. Astros are down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back. And here is Julio Rodriguez. Man at second, nobody out. Chris 
certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Move to second, and he dives back in safely. Next offering is down low. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Brian Abreu, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Misses. Now two balls and a strike. Got the back going too soon and strike two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And the pitch. Check swing, appeal to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. A. Eugenio Suarez up next for the Mariners. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Going oh, two now. This one in the dirt. And the runner holds. One-two. Here's a swing and a drive. This one headed down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone out of here. His 18th home run of the season, and that gives him a lead. It's 3-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now here is Ty France. And the first offering is not close. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. Stanek. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little oh, bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. That one finds the corner. Three balls and a strike. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Teoscar Hernandez. That's a ball. Here comes a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot, and they tack one on the board. It's 4-1. That pitch looked like the splitter, but normally doesn't stay that high in the zone. The bottom falls out, at least to bring it around belt level, but that one just stayed up, and with that kind of velocity, it's going to get hit really hard, as it did right there. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Ryan Abreu. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. So two down, and now Cal Raleigh. Hey. That one's in there, 0-1. In the air, foul off first. Number 28 in position. And that is that. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Mariners four and the Astros one. Back here in extras and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Andres Munoz. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. Leading off, number 28. And a pitch. Swing and a miss at 100 miles an hour. Left hand batter waits. Pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Matt Brash getting loose out there. The one one. And that's in there at the knees. That one is absolutely belted. Rodriguez ranging back, still going back, and caught on the warning track. Runner tags up for third. Was able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly to center, but I think this point, he wants to get him over and get him in. Now it's going to be Jeremy Pena, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack bunt. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Ball one, no strikes. Runner on at third, one gone. Flips the corner, and the count one and one. And a pitch. And he chases that one below the zone. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count, and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Next pitch misses way outside. And another ball. One away with a runner at third. 
swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I always see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Good eye right there. Really good run, perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. That's off the mark, and that's ball two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Lifted in the air, right field. He's got it, ball game. And the Mariners claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.